Hey everyone, Amy here with Sublimation and More and Hellbound Designs. And in this video demonstration, I'm showing you the um, MDF photo frames that I've got from my supplier in China. And I'm going to compare it to the ones I got from Condi. So the one in the pink is the one I got from Condi. Um, here's the, th the thickness of it and I'm gonna show you this in just a minute because the supplier in China offers two different thicknesses and there is a price break. Um, so the one from Condi comes with a pink plastic coating cover that you take off and the one from China comes with a white plastic coating. Now um, I know some of you may be concerned about it whether it being a true white and this does look like a very true white to me. Um, I have not pressed these like I said I've been waiting for something to do to show you guys. Okay so let's start with the thickness. So if you look the thickness on this I'm sorry. is it looks like it's about close to three quarters of an inch that's this one that I got from China um, same thing okay now on the ones that are a little bit cheaper which I'm gonna do the print on today these are uh, a little bit less thick so these are a half an inch looks like and um, honestly I don't see that huge of a difference to be honest with you okay I know there there is a thickness difference but to me to save me a few more uh, save me a few more dollars I would probably go with these but I'll leave that up to you guys because I do sell a lot of these on Etsy so um, so we'll just see how they press uh, the the price break I'll get into that um, when I open the group bribe but I know for the thinner ones, the shipping is going to cost less on these, so. Okay, so let's get going with our designs now. Okay, so the first thing you do is you take off your protective paper, okay? And the next thing you wanna do is you wanna move the, if there's your back, your backing, get that out of there. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is um, is take the lip roller and it's going to stick. Don't worry about that. And just go over it. I like to clean it double because if you have any small particles or fibers on it, it will ruin your print once you press it. So you want to get anything off of it. Microfiber cloths are really good for getting that kind of stuff off. And for these frames, because they're really shiny and glossy, you really have to wipe them down good. Try to get fingerprints off of them if you can. Any smudges. That's what I'm doing. I'm just making sure there's no smudges. Okay. The next thing we want to do is tape our print on. And you want to make sure it goes the right way. So be careful. I mean, pay attention to this top. If somebody wanted to hang it on a wall, this should be the top of your frame. So when putting your print on there, just make sure that you're putting it on correctly. I'm gonna go ahead and tape. Next, what you wanna do is take some heat tape and I just tape the sides, usually one on each at the far ends. Just like that, okay. The next thing is you're going to press 
at 400 degrees for 30 seconds face up with medium pressure. So I usually take my butcher paper that you can get at Costco, Sam's, I get mine online in bulk and I put it in between the sheet like that. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to press for 30 seconds. Okay, so like I told you in the previous clip, um, I decided that I didn't like the background. So I went ahead and changed it up and pressed another one. Um, so this is after the press. Um, what I'm doing here is checking uh, to see for my consistency and pressure. And what I found with my first two tries, I did not have enough time and I didn't have enough pressure. Recommended settings from Coastal, and I believe Condi are um, 30 seconds medium pressure for 400 degrees. That didn't work for me. So I went on and I upped the pressure a little more the second time, still wasn't enough. This is my third time at 45 seconds with a lot of pressure and I could tell that I still needed um, about another 10 to 15 seconds. So that's what I'm doing. I'm carefully placing the paper back on hope that I don't create a shadow effect and I'm gonna press it for another probably 10 15 seconds here and just make sure that it sets in good um, so in the end I concluded that these these frames need to be pressed again for 55 to 60 seconds at 400 degrees with a good medium pressure um, so here it is, it's, I'm finished with it. And just taking the tape off, don't forget, always use your heat gloves. And at this moment, I'm just double checking everything. And I got kids in the background, gotta love it. Uh, and I'm happy with the overall pro uh, process of it. I really love how the wood accented the little elephants in the text. So I'm pretty happy with the overall result of it. And next we're gonna go ahead and move on to the Condi frame. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna do is on the Condi. The Condi paper sticks really good. And this is gonna be the same if you get it from Coastal or Johnson's Plastics, which I've got it from them as, from them as well. See, now when you take the plastic off, sometimes it leaves dirt behind, so you want to just make sure that sticky stuff, you get that off really good. Next is going to be the memorial template. Okay. <sighs> Again, this one's a little thicker. I may have to raise my pressure just a tiny bit. Yeah. There we go. 
Okay, this one's done. And it came out beautiful. So here's the difference between the two. Um, my only struggle was, I guess, because of the thinness, I needed to get used to pressure and settings. It ended up being 50, second, 50 to 60 seconds for 400 degrees. Um, and I did that on both of them. Uh, it's going to be the thickness. I do like the thicker ones, I think. Um, but it wouldn't matter to me. I, I think I could sell these thinner ones just as easily. Uh, the bag shows the difference. Our U.S. vendors have these both top and bottom. And this is to hang the frame on the wall. Versus the China only has it at the top and on the side. Um, oh, so, and that's another difference. So if you wanted to hang the frame, they have theirs just up and down like this, but our China vendor is giving us the opportunity to hang it this way if you wanted to, okay? And so this way or this way on the wall versus our US vendor is only giving us the option to hang it either this way or this way, which is the same. So, um, now they gave me some other frames, which I will test. Okay, so this was, they have these kind of frames, which are nice. Um, I'll come up with a design for this one later. And these are the same thin ones that I just did. Thank goodness, because I've already ruined two of them. And then they also offer these more cheap ones, which I don't know I would want to mess with too much. Um, may save these in, as samples to give away. Again, these are more cheaper quality ones. They're not, I wouldn't see, I wouldn't even mess with this, honestly. I wouldn't sell something like this. That's just my opinion. Um, and then they gave me all these hooks. I guess this is to hook it on the wall. I'm not sure what this is for. I'll have to ask her. Or maybe I'm just not being smart. All right, so then they gave us this one right here, which I have done one like this. Let's see. Here's the one I've got from probably Johnson Plastic in the past that I've done. Um, again, this one looks probably about the same thickness. So I would probably want to get a picture and compare it to this one, but I think it's going to press just the same. So these might be a good option too for us. Okay, so that's my video on that, on um, the frames from China. Again, they do come in a pure white. And there's no yellow haze to them at all. And I'm not sure if y'all can see that. Give it, give it. So, it is a true white, I can promise you that. Um, we'll just need to narrow down on which thickness we want because I don't want to offer both of them and then which size and what types of frames so if you have any questions feel free to ask thanks for watching and we'll get this group by going very soon thank you